Hello! In this instructional video, we're going to be talking about how to get started with the trumpet. We're going to start with putting the instrument together. So always start with your instrument flat on the floor. You do not want to put your instrument together on your lap. That's bad because the instrument can roll this way, and you can have a broken instrument. Undo the latches, revealing what's inside. Locate your mouthpiece and instrument body. Hold the instrument in your left hand and hold the mouthpiece in your right. Place the mouthpiece in the mouthpiece receiver and give it a slight turn to the right. And that's it. You've assembled the entire trumpet. Luckily, the trumpet's not a very difficult instrument to put together. Let's talk about how to care for your trumpet, though. The trumpet operates through a system of valves. You have three, tr three trumpet valves. One, two, and three. If these valves are not properly oiled, the trumpet will not work correctly. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to oil your valves. You always want to start by oiling the third valve first, and then work backwards to the first valve. Start by unscrewing the valve cap here. Once you've got that valve cap unscrewed all the way, you can pull the valve gently straight out. Don't pull the valve out all the way. About this much is fine. Using this little bottle of valve oil that you received with your trumpet, you're gonna add some oil to that silver part of the valve. Do not add oil to the gold part of the valve. Two to three drops will do just fine. Once you've added drops to the valve, gently push the valve back down and then with a clockwise motion, you're going to spin the piston to the right until you feel it stop spinning and hear an audible click. At this point, I can no longer spin the valve. I'm trying to, but it has locked into place. That means I'm ready to twist my valve cap back onto the trumpet. To finish the oiling process, I'm going to push the valve up and down a handful of times just to work the oil into the valve. Let's demonstrate again with the second valve. Start by removing the valve cap. Pull the valve up, it's out but not all the way, to reveal this silver part here and add two to three drops of oil to the valve. Try and avoid these holes when you're applying oil. If you get oil in there, it's not a big deal, but try not to do it. Gently wiggle the valve back into place, and using a clockwise motion, spin the valve stem ooh, until it clicks. Well, that one clicked right away. I can no longer spin the valve stem. You're ready to put the um, valve cap back on. Gently screw that back into the trumpet. And depress the valve a handful of times just to work the oil in. Finally, we're moving on to the third valve. Unscrew the valve cap. Open the valve up. Do not pull the valve out all the way. Add two to three drops of oil. Push the valve back into the trumpet. Screw counterclockwise until it stops moving and you hear a click. And screw your valve cap back on. You should oil your trumpet valves every couple of times that you play. This does not need to be done every day, but if you wait a couple of weeks and you do not oil your trumpet, you'll notice that the valves are difficult to move and it will make it very hard to play. So, oil your valves at least once a week. We're also going to talk today about how to hold your trumpet properly. You hold your trumpet in your left hand. 
And the way you do it is, um, I'll hold it like this, okay. So your left thumb is gonna go in this ring here. Your other fingers go around the valves like this. With your third finger right here going through the ring here. You can remember it as your ring finger goes through the ring. Your middle and index fingers wrap around the valves. Your pinky just rests down here. Let's do that again from the start. So I'm going to use my left thumb and put it here in this ring. Some trumpets don't have this ring, and that's okay. You can put it around this side of the valves. Your third finger, your ring finger, goes on the ring. Middle and index finger goes around the valves, and your pinky rests down here. Then, with your trumpet held securely by your left hands, you're ready to take your right hand, fingers one, two, and three, and then put them on buttons one, two, and three. Your pinky finger goes atop this pinky rest, and your thumb goes around the valves. Again, finger one, finger two, finger three, pinky on top of the pinky rest, thumb around the valves. Then finally, once you're holding the instrument correctly, you're ready to sit. Make sure that you're sitting up straight and with the trumpet straight out in front of you. Your arms should be spread out like this, not in like this and you're ready to go. The final step with the trumpet is to put it away. Um, remove the mouthpiece first by twisting to the left and pulling out. If your mouthpiece gets stuck, and that does happen, please tell me I have a special tool to get the mouthpiece out and free. Put the mouthpiece away in the case where you found it. And before you put the trumpet away, you're gonna to wanna to find these keys down at the bottom. They look like this. There should be one or two of them. They're called water keys. When you play your instrument, condensation builds up inside, and it's natural, but we want to get rid of that condensation before we put the trumpet away. So, with the water key depressed, I'll use my other hand so you can see. With the water key depressed, blow a steady stream of air through the instrument to remove any of that excess condensation. You're going to want to do this over a trash can, like that. And I'm going to do the other one. Now you're ready to put the trumpet away in the case. About once a week, please wash your mouthpiece with warm soapy water just to remove any bacteria that may have built up on the mouthpiece whilst playing. Be sure to lock up your case before you put it away and you're good to go.